welcome back friends in this video i'm going to show you how to create a dynamic inventory tracking sheet in microsoft excel as you can see in the screen here i have created this inventory tracking which has the stock in or purchase table stock out or sales table and stock balance table based on the stock in transactions and stock out transaction you record here the total stock in and total stock out will auto calculate here and also the balance for example currently in the stock out i have total eight unit sales for television three plus five and here you see eight is calculated and if i add here a new transaction let me take here a date of 27th and from this drop down you can select the product name television then quantity one unit press enter and here you see the total stock out is now nine unit and the balance is 21 unit so this part will automatically calculate using the formulas and here in the product selection drop down the items will automatically reflect when you add here new items for example in the purchase in section let me take here a new date like uh, 28th of november when you click on the item name selection there is a drop down and it has the list of the products if i add here a new product for example mixture grinder now if you go here in the product name selection drop down the new product is auto added so in this video i will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating this dynamic inventory tracking sheet in microsoft excel let me close this excel workbook then open a new microsoft excel workbook from here and here i have this blank sheet first of all provide the title that is inventory tracking sheet or stock in out and balance tracker increase the font size of this in the a3 cell put stock in or purchase below this put date item name and quantity select these three cells and merge and center by skipping one column put here stock out or this is the sales select the column headers of stock in section copy this by pressing ctrl c paste it below stock out by pressing ctrl v by skipping one column put here stock balance below this put the column headers of item name opening stock then total in then total out and finally the balance let's increase the column width for item name for opening stock total in total out and balance for stock outer sales select these three sales then merge and center select these five sales then merge and center now for the stock in or purchase let's take a different color highlight by using the fill color tool let's take blue color for stock in for stock out let's take this color and for stock balance let's take this color now select the headings of the stock in section and one row below this then insert a table here by going to insert tab then table this will open this create table dialog box where enable this my table has headers option then click on ok similarly for stock out also select the headers and one row below this then create a table you can use the keyboard shortcut of ctrl plus t click on my table has headers then click on ok and do the same for stock balance ctrl t my table has headers then click on ok now rename the tables because later when we use the formula we need to give the table name 
so click on this purchase table then go to table design tab here in the table name put stock underscore in then press enter pressing the enter key will rename this table as stock in click on the stock out table and put the name as stock underscore out then press enter for stock balance put the name is stock underscore balance then press enter now if you want to change the formatting of the table you can click on the table and here in the table formatting you can choose a formatting let me take this formatting for stock in click on stock out table let me take this formatting for stock out and for stock balance i'll take this formatting the tables are created remove the filter buttons from the table if you want by simply deselecting the filter button option for stock out also disable the filter buttons and for stock in also disable the filter buttons now after making the tables ready let's decrease the width of these blank columns now list out all the items that you have in your warehouse for example here i am putting some electronic items next we have to enable the product name selection drop down in the item name column of stuck in and stuck out for this click on this cell click on data tab then data validation tool in the data validation tool click on this drop down and select a list and here in the source of the list we have to use this formula that is equal to put the indirect function open bracket now we have to link the items that is in the item name column of the stock balance table so put here double quotation put the name of the table that is stock underscore balance then open a square bracket then put the column header name that is item name so put here item name square bracket close double quotation close bracket close for indirect function now click on ok and you will get this item selection drop down here you see by using this drop down you can select the item here now you can simply copy and paste this item selection drop down for the stock out for this copy this cell and click on this cell right click click on paste special then choose this validation option then click on ok now you will get the same drop down here as well and this drop down is dynamic if you add here a new item then the new item will automatically go here in the drop down let me add here a new item for example mixture grinder now if you go to the item name selection drop down the new item is automatically added and if you have a long list of item then you can locate a specific item by putting the keyword here for example if you want to locate refrigerator then you can simply put r e f in the cell then you will see the refrigerator is suggested if you want to locate washing machine you can put w a and washing machine is suggested you can click on this to choose next put the opening stock that you have in your warehouse at the beginning of the period the period could be the month or year if you are making this system for month on month basis then you have to put the quantities that you have at the beginning of the month here in this opening stock column let me put here some random quantities next we have to write here the formula for total stock in and total stock out before writing the formula let me add here some stock in transaction in this case we have total 18 units purchase of television and here in the total in 18 units should be calculated let me add here one more transaction for another item 
let's take a refrigerator and uh, the purchase is 18 units in this case we can use the sum if function so in the first cell press equal to type sum if function bracket open in the range parameter of the sum if function provide this item name range of the stuck in table so here you can put the name of the table put here stock here you see the stock in table is suggested double click on this to choose then open a square bracket now you can choose this item name column by double clicking close the square bracket then put a comma in the criteria click on the first item name here in the stock balance table because we want to calculate the total stock in for television from this purchase table now put a comma and in the sum range we have to provide the quantity range of the stock in table so put here stock in table square bracket open then choose the quantity column square bracket close bracket close for some if function then hit enter and here you see the total in is calculated for all the items the television has total 18 unit purchase and the refrigerator also has 18 unit purchase if you change the value here if you make this 12 unit here you see it automatically updates similarly we have to use some if formula here in the stock out column also before using the formula let me add here some stock out transaction now in the total out i should get six unit sales for television and if you notice here i am picking the date by using the date picker calendar so in the next tutorial i'll show you how you can enable this type of calendar date picker in microsoft excel once the video is uploaded i will put the link of the video in the description section of this video also from where you can watch now in the stuck out column also use the sum if formula press equal to type sum if bracket open in the range parameter provide this item name column of the stuck out table so put here stock choose the stuck out table open square bracket then choose the item name column close square bracket put a comma in the criteria select the first item of the stock balance then put a comma and in the sum range provide the quantity column of the stock out so type here stock choose the stock out table square bracket open then choose the quantity column by double clicking close square bracket close normal bracket then press enter and you get this total stock out for all the items and the formula will auto expand when you add here more items here you see the total sales or stock out of television is given as six unit which is calculated by adding these two values if you modify this number here for example let me put here five i got total nine unit in stock out next we have to write the formula for the stock balance which is a simple formula that is press equal to click on the opening stock plus click on the total in quantity minus click on the total out quantity then hit enter and this gives the total balance next we have to lock this heading part because when the transaction grows in future then you have to scroll down the sheet in that case the heading parts becomes invisible to lock this heading part you can simply click on this a5 cell where the first transaction begins then go to view tab go to freeze panes then click on the freeze pane tool now if you scroll down the sheet the heading part always becomes visible now our dynamic inventory tracking sheet is ready you can start keeping the transaction of stock in and stock out then your total balance table will automatically update if you want to use this ready-made format or if you want to practice the formulas then you can download this workbook file from the link given in the video description section 
if you like this video please give it a thumbs up by hitting on that like button and if you are visiting this channel for the first time i request you to subscribe the channel to get similar kind of video updates in future thank you very much for watching see you again in next tutorial